happening guys welcome back to another quick tip tuesday today we're talking about text and how you can set up your text however you want get it set up the way you like it save it for later and then you can just pull it out drop it in your timeline and use it over and over again that way you don't have to recreate the wheel each time you need your piece of text so let's jump into davinci resolve and i'm gonna show you how to save your text for later so here we are in davinci resolve i have a regular piece of text i dragged into the timeline and i just made this here i changed the font and i animated it to come sliding in and sliding out it says subscribe so let's say I want to use this text over and over again. And again, this text can be whatever you want. Go through the inspector, change it, change your fonts, do whatever you want, make it how you want. So once you have your text all set up, the only thing you have to do to save it for later is to highlight your text and drag it into your media pool. And boom, you see it dropped my text right in here. So anytime I want to use it, I can just slide over my timeline, grab my text, drop it in, and boom, there's my text again. Now let's say I want to use it in other projects because I set up my font, maybe it's a lower thirds you want to use or something. In order to save it for another project, come down to your power bins here. And if you don't see your power bins, come up to view and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You have show power bins right here. And once you have your power bins open, select the bin that you want or make a new bin. And then all you have to do is click on your text, drag it in and drop it. There you go. There's your text. You can use it anytime you want through any project you want. All right, guys, so there you go, setting up text so you don't have to recreate the wheel over and over again each time you need a piece of text. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more quick tips like this and other DaVinci Resolve stuff. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.